Welcome to today's tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going to be proving the De Morgan's laws. Yeah, so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure that you click on the subscription button. If you, uh, in case, have any questions or you want me to help you in math, physics, and chemistry, feel free to contact me using these lines on the screen. All right, so let's quickly begin. So the question is, prove the De Morgan laws. Um, the first one that we have is B, intersection C, complement, is equal to B complement union C complement. So this is a very simple question. So we are going to use an arbitrary element, which is X. So I'm going to say let X be a member of B intersection C complement. So if X is a member of um, B intersection C complement, it means that X is not a member of B intersection C. Because when we talk about the complement of any thing or any set, we're simply talking about the elements that are not present in that set. So when you say X is a member of B intersection C complement, we're simply saying X is not a member of B intersection C. And this implies that X is not a member of B. X is also not a member of um, yeah, so X is neither a member of B, no, uh, a member of what? Of C. So meaning X is not a member of B, X is not a member of C. So, for, so since X is not a member of B and X is not a member of C, we can therefore conclude that X is a member of B complement and X is also... Um, Okay, so we can simply say X, okay, instead of using no here, let me use another term that at least will match mathematics. Let me say, uh, so X is not a member of what? Of uh, B and it's also not a member of set C. That's what it means. All right, so, um, if we say X is not a member of B, it means that X is a member of what? B complement. So meaning this X can be a member of B complement or it can be a member of what? Of C complement. So or it can be a member of C complement. So if X is a member of B complement or C complement, this implies that X can be in the union set of B complement and C complement. So this can be written as B, uh, X is a member of B complement union C complement. Therefore, the left hand side is um, the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Yeah, so the left hand side is a proper subset of the right hand side because we've, we've proved that the left hand side is equal to the left hand side all right so let's quickly move on to the other one there so the other one says b union c complement b union c complement is equal to b complement intersection c complement so how do you prove this so the first thing is to introduce the arbitrarily constant we say let x uh, rather the arbitrary element which which is x so we say let x be equal to um sorry let x be a member of uh, b union c complement so if x is a member of b union c complement it means that x is not a member of uh, b union c and x if x is not a member of b union c this implies that x is not a member of um, X is not a member of B or X cannot be a member of what or X cannot be a member of uh, C so if we say X is not a member of this X is not a member of that so it means that X is not a member of B X is also not a member of C or X can also not be a member of C so there are those possibilities 
and um, okay I think so here we can say we can use and because when we talk about the union set, union set is like the combination of B and C. So if B and C put together does not contain X, it means that X is neither in B nor in C. So we can use AND here. So if X is not a member of B and X is not a member of C, we can therefore conclude and say um, X is a member of what? X is a member of B complement. And I mean O. So we can say x can either be in b complement or can also be in what c complement i think we say we use and here and the reason why we are using and is because uh, when we said s is not a member of b we, we also said x is also not a member of c meaning X, if X is not in B, it's also not in C. It, it simply implies that X is in B complement and it's also in C complement. Since it's not in C, meaning it's also in C complement. Since it's not, be, it's not in B, it, it means that it's um, in B complement. So what this uh, means is that we can write this as X is a member of uh, B complement and um, C complement. So the intersection of B complement and C complement contains what? X, because it's not in B, it's also not in C. I think, I, I don't know if you have gotten the point there. All right, so this is how you prove that um, B union C complement is equal to B complement intersection, C complement. All right, we move on to the other question, which is uh, the, the other part there, which says prove that A complement um, complement is equal to a so for this one you can also you can just uh use a what is a set you can give an example of a set and then you work it out and see if you're going to get the same solutions that you are uh, that you have in a as your solution this side and you can also use the arbitrary element let's try uh, let's try to use the arbitrary element so we say let X be a member of what? Um, a complement, complement. So, if this is what we have, this is telling us that if X is a member of this, uh, we can therefore say X is not a member of um, X is not a member of what? Of a complement because it's yeah X is not a member of a complement because it's a member of the complement of a complement yeah so x is not a member of a complement and if x is not a member of a complement this tells us to say x is a member of what of a so if it's not a member of a complement we can prove and say i mean we can conclude and say x is a member of what a and this is how you prove using the arbitrary element all right, so let's quickly move on to the third question. So the third part of this question is saying we verify that we verify the De Morgan laws. So how do you verify? Now, how is this different from the first part of the question? The first part was asking us to prove, and we have proved. Now, how do you verify? Okay, I think... For according to me, I think these these two questions they mean the same. But what I can do to make them different is that I would solve one using a sample set. I'll get a set. Uh, I'll get two two sets. Yeah. I'll get two sets. I'll just do this. So we have B and C. Okay. So set B and set C. So I'll put numbers. We have one, two, three, four, five. So now I have the first one there which says B intersection C complement. Okay, so when we say A intersection B complement, let us find the set. Oh, sorry, when you say B intersection C complement, 
let's find the set B intersection C. So B intersection C is simply just 3. So when we look at this 3, if we find the complement of B intersection C, we're simply talking about numbers that are outside uh, this intersection part here. So B intersection C complement is therefore going to be 1, 2, 4, and 5. And then we look at the right hand side, which is B complement union C complement. So for this one, you do the same. You first find B complement and you add it to uh, C complement. You combine the two sets to find the solution for this one. So B complement is simply just um, the elements that are not in B. So you have 1, 4, and 5. 1, 4, and 5. And then when we talk about um, C complement, C complement is uh, simply listing the elements that are not in C. So we have 1, 2, 5. We have 1, 2, 5. So combining the two sets, we are going to get 1, 2, 4, 5. And when you compare this set and that set, they are same. So this um, proves us, I mean, this proves to us that B intersection C complement is also equal to, rather is equal to B complement union C complement. So you do the same with these, um, with this other part of the question. You can try to prove it and see if you are going to get the same solutions on the left and on the right. All right, so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me using any of these lines on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel Click the notification button so that you don't miss out the videos that I'll be posting. My name is Hamted. See you in the next tutorial video. Shalom, shalom.